So today I'm going to be breaking down how to do this crazy transition, so let's get right into it. So I have this clip here that I'm going to transition into. If you guys want to know how to do this effect right here, go ahead and make sure to watch this tutorial. I go in great detail explaining how to do this. So essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this layer right here that I'm going to transition into, duplicate the layer, and make sure that my cursor is on the first frame of this layer. Right click, go to time and freeze frame it. And then you're going to drag this over here, split the layer with control shift D and delete the remainder of that layer. Next, what you're going to go ahead and do is mask out your subject. So go up here to the pen tool and just start clicking through masking out your subject. And this mask doesn't have to be perfect. You can see that I'm going through pretty quickly. The effect is going to be happening pretty quickly and motion blur is going to be on there. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Once I have my subject masked out and I click on that masked out layer, I'm going to double tap M on my keyboard and that's going to bring up my mask tab. And I'm going to bring the feather up to something like seven, play around with whatever looks best on your clip. And now we can start adding some effects. So the first one I'm going to add on here is turbulent displays, which you've probably worked with before. On the last frame, I'm going to set the amount and size and I'm setting the amount to zero and the size on the default 100. And then I'm going to set a keyframe for the first frame right here. And I'm going to blast up the amount and bring down the size a whole bunch and essentially just make this look as crazy as I can. In my case, I just set the amount to 800 and the size to 10 and it's going to look something like this. And the next effect that I'm going to add on here is called CC Scale Wipe. All of these effects are built into After Effects. I'm going to set the direction to 90. And on this last frame here, I'm going to set a keyframe for stretch and center and just leave those at zero. Then about halfway through from the beginning, I'm going to set the stretch to something like 3.4. And then on the first frame here, I'm going to click this little center point button. And then you can pick any point on the screen for where you wanna put this. And as you can see, wherever you drag this to will determine where this blob goes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this until everything is barely off of the screen like that. Go ahead and highlight those keyframes for CC Scale Wipe and click F9 to easy ease them. And typically I'm gonna play with the keyframes a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and move the stretch value over to here. And we're gonna have something that looks like this. And it's looking pretty crazy, but I'm not done yet. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is add on an effect called Displacer Pro. And Displacer Pro is a plugin, but it is free. I'll go ahead and leave that link down in the description. And what I'm gonna do here for this last frame is set a keyframe for Translate X at zero. And then sort of near the beginning, I'm just going to drag the Translate X over to the right a little bit. Easy ease by keyframes. And now it looks like this. And that looks a whole lot better in my opinion. I want to make this effect look even crazier. So for this clip right here that's happening before this clip, I'm going to go ahead and make it melt as that transition is taking place. So I'm going to add on another Displacer Pro effect on this bottom layer. And on this last frame, set a keyframe for Translate Y and bring it down like that. And as you can see, I brought it to a positive value of about 100 and it gave it this kind of a look. And obviously it doesn't look great with the black. So I'm going to set the edge behavior to mirror repeat. At the beginning, I'm going to set the translate Y to zero to bring it back to normal. Easy ease my keyframes. And then you can play with these keyframes, move them around to get a look that you like. And as always, you can play with the graph editor as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. I want this melting to happen slow at the beginning and then fast at the end. So I'm gonna drag this value over like that and it's gonna look something like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add on an effect called Distort Chroma. This is a Sapphire plugin, but you don't need Sapphire plugins. You can use an assortment of different effects. I actually have tons and tons of different tutorials explaining different things that you can do using built-in plugins. So make sure to check out all of my other tutorials and I'm sure that there will be something in there for you to use. But for my case, I'm gonna use Distort Chroma. And on this last frame, I'm gonna set the amount to zero. And then starting back here, I'm going to bring the amount up quite a bit, easy ease my keyframes. Typically, whenever I've met someone that doesn't easy ease their keyframes, I found out that no one loves them. And then once I play around with these keyframes a little bit, play around with the values, which I recommend you doing, you're gonna have something that looks like this. And if you guys like trippy stuff like this, I just dropped an editing pack called the Shockwave Distortion Pack. 
It's got a ton of crazy digital assets, over 70 overlays in this pack. And the value is literally insane because I've got a 30% off deal going on right now. And if you use discount code SHOCK, you get another 10% off at checkout. And before you guys purchase it, there is a free sample that is available linked in the description. Make sure to download that. So that way you can test it out, make sure you like it, make sure it's something that you're willing to invest in to improve your workflow. But it's super simple. You just drag and drop it. You don't even have to change the blending mode. Once you roto brush out your subject, you're good to go. Make sure to comment what kind of tutorial you want me to do next. And I appreciate the support. If you guys do buy my digital assets or subscribe, like, and comment, you guys are supporting the channel. And the more that you guys do, the more crazy tutorials that I can do for you guys. Also, of course, join the Discord linked in the description. I appreciate you guys so much. Peace.